Hey, thanks. Uh, thanks for listening to another vlog. It's Daryl Thomas, and um, I'm going to be serious for a moment here. I'm reading the online edition of the Houston Chronicle here, and we have a story posted February 12th, 2011. Deputy, drinking may have led to dragging death. Uh, I guess in Corsicana, Texas, three men were charged with uh, the murder of a 24-year-old. <laughs> three men have been charged with murder after a 24-year-old man was dragged to death by a strap attached from his neck to a pickup truck bumper. Uh, apparently, these there were four men, two brothers, two sets of brothers, the Harringtons and the uh, Beckhams, uh, went out playing some pool, uh, got in an argument, got in a fight, and later uh, they dragged this guy for four or five minutes on the back of, you know, of the bumper of his truck. Um, apparently, this is a, a way of showing somebody you're displeased with them. But I can only um, describe such an action as sinister. I mean, these men were like 25, 32, 23, uh, 24 years old. I mean, they're mid-20s mostly. Uh, they got into an argument and for some reason, the one brother let it happen. And the deputy says, drinking may have led to dragging death. And they found the, man's, the young man's body uh, in a field wearing just a t-shirt, blue jeans and boots. Christopher Beckham. Uh, this apparently happened in a uh, sort of a remote part of Texas, the rural Hill County. And I don't know, it's kind of thing you hear coming from Texas every, every so often, somebody dragging somebody along the road in their truck. Uh, it's just sinister. Stop drinking. You may get demon possessed to the point of just doing something you're going to regret for the rest of your life. And the fact that this brother of the uh, young man who was dragged to death on the back of a pickup truck, uh, the fact that his brother, his family, just went along with it, well, it does have a biblical twist to it the story, doesn't it? I don't know what was going on between those two, but uh, nobody thought it was a good idea to you know, calm the fuck down and uh, get sober. Now, all three of them went along with it, and when the police came by the next day and took them down to the station, they said, oh, yeah, we sort of got out of hand. We were just drinking and playing pool. Sort of got out of hand. I wonder what majorly got getting out of hand would have been like. All right, that's it. I'm out. Bye.